Okay, uh, rundown. It is uh, the Monday before Thanksgiving. 22nd? How's that? Yeah. 21. Yeah. All, right. All right. No. Uh, wait, 20, 22. 21st. Oh, 21st. Uh, brought to you by High Noon, High Seltzer, Real Vodka, Real Juice, Sparkling Water, made with vodka, not the malt like the other guys. Perfect drink, college football watch party, or right now we get some World Cup going on. I'm watching it. USA all over Wales, up one nothing. Um, Eddie is in the Chicago bar for watch party, so you can drink it for that too. You can't drink it in Qatar, but you can drink it here. Real Vodka, Real Juice, real fans just like it. Head over to your liquor store, get some today. Limited edition tailgating, pear, cranberry, um, so yeah, drink up. Good day. Well, I listen. I've started getting into soccer more with Tottenham. The World Cup, regardless of what you think, is always a great day drinking event. They play generally weird times. They get you, you know, something to do in the middle of the day. I have no idea who, uh, how good the USA is supposed to be. They're a little bit of an underdog, and they're up one nothing, and they look really good. So uh, I actually have the World Cup on my list. We'll get to that a little bit later. But we start since we are in the United States with football. A um, couple things, Pats, Jets, and again, Pats beat the Jets for like the 100th straight time. Uh, Patriots, what are we, 6-4? and four. We're back like looking like we may win this fucking division after all. Although I think the Dolphins are pretty good. I don't know what's going on in Buffalo. Um, ugly, one of the uglier games. Oh, I, you, you, I can't believe like for you guys, like the Jets have played games like that a couple times a year for my whole life where they, you know, nobody even fucking gets a first down, let alone scores. But you guys are not used to that, that life at all. No, it's, the Patriots are a little bit of a new life. But for as much talk as there have been, they're still finding ways to win, including a punt return, which was bananas. I mean, and minus three and a half, give Patriot fans the cover. Uh, and then you got your quarterback at the end of the game, in the post game, Zach Wilson. They're like, do you feel bad or do you owe the defense anything? And you just hit him with a no. And that I think is... that answer, I mean, that answer was terrible. And he should have obviously said yes, because he, he, his game was so bad that like he, there's no denying it. There's no wiggle room at all. But I, I think that answer was more of like a fuck you to the reporters. Cause I think they're, you know, uh, piling on him now, which also is not a good thing. But I, I, I think that was more of a dismissal of that guy than a genuine answer. Cause there was another answer, like two minutes later in the tunnel where he took a little more responsibility. doesn't matter. Because he's just not the guy. You, 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 that was so bad, and there's clearly no trust in him with the head coach or the OC to the point that they can actually let him run a real offense. And it's just I – mean, I've seen it a million times. We've seen so, it a so, million times. It's over. It's not. He's not the guy. He's not the guy on the field. He's not the guy off the field. And back so to the So let me board. ask you this. I watched the game, obviously, and I got my guy, Mac Jones, who just finds ways to win football games. But, you know, they, he, neither team lighting the world on fire. I didn't think Mac Jones, like, played horribly. Like, and I didn't Zach really. Wilson or Mac Jones? Mac Jones. Like, oh, I, Mac Jones, yeah. Like, I, and, and I kind of got the same vibe. Like, Zach Wilson didn't play good, but. Well, he had two yards in the second half. But the pressure, like, you can't, <laughs> run, you can't run the ball at all. You got yeah. no pass protection at all at some level. Like, I, I didn't feel like either quarterback was sitting back there and just missing wide open guy. Like, there was one throw on the side. I don't know. I'm still I, – I thought Zach Wilson would be okay. I think it's more the Jets. You know, they had that brief glimpse, and they stink still. They just stink. They did get a lot – I mean, they, they lost a lot of guys, a couple superstars that they were still able to cobble together wins without, and now I think that's starting to show. But it's more like – Yes, like the offensive line wasn't good, and there's a couple things. There's it's never going to just be like perfect for a quarterback to come in and and just like you know blossom. So there's always going to be some sort of adversity, and the guys who turn out to be it just fucking do it. They they go out. They don't win right away. They're not winning Super Bowls, but they're like, I'm good. We're good. You don't have to worry about me at all. And with Zach Wilson, it's like you have to be terrified of him at this point. Speaking of guys who just do it and just get the job done. And let me preface by saying he's my fantasy quarterback, Josh Fields. So I root for him and I'm paying a close attention. <laughs> and I and, and I'll tell you, I feel like you know, you you, you turn it on and and for 58 minutes he's putting up numbers and he's doing highlight plays and in like groundhog day Eddie. Almost every game, 
You look, and the Bears are down three. They're down two. They're down four. The Bears have the ball. They've already scored 25, 35 points in the game. And you're like, they're going to go march down, kick a field goal, get a touchdown. And this guy, Fields, is going to show he's a winner. Yeah. And like clockwork, it does not happen. And I know Bears fans, I saw your thing being like, let's not worry about it. At what time is this guy the 58-minute man? But listen, sh- shout out Josh Fields, old third baseman for the White Sox. You can't the, – the roster is so bad. That and and you get to a point where, where what he's doing throughout the whole game and and if you're watching a game, I don't got 18 TVs going where I'm watching every game and you're watching this team and you're watching these two minute drills. Our wide receivers like Equinemius St. Brown and Amir Smith Marset, these passes that these guys are dropping. And don't get me wrong, he had a bad interception yesterday and that was on him. He had a bad ball, but he was wincing. He was injured. Oh, it, so that it like, was on I, him. I, I don't like those guys who do that. I didn't. Now I didn't see it. It was. But on I him. don't like. I don't like the guys who throw bad balls and start wincing. It was not. No, no, no. He was. He was wincing before that. He was wincing before that. Mm-hmm. He was banged up before that. He had two runs before the interception. He was banged up before that. But previously on the two minute drill, he had his wide receivers were letting him down. There's no talent around him, and I don't know what people aren't understanding about that. That he has nobody around him. He has no weapons. And it's everybody around him keeps letting him down. The bear, he is so everyone, doing- everyone, everyone is good for fifty-eight minutes, and then in the la- on offense, and then in the last two minutes, they because they it, that's what's weird. It's he's he's putting up a ton of points, and then when they need that drive, it is gone, well, and it's gone pretty quick. Records. He's doing he's doing a lot of it with his legs, and then yeah, he's, he's a got one minute weapon. man. He's Wait, a 58 doing, minute man. No, don't. That's a that's a bullshit narrative. I know what you're doing. Yeah, look gonna, at that smirk. He no, loves I, this. I, I, that, I know. He's so proud of that name, the 58 minute man. He loves it. No, and I know. And I'm not gonna fucking get upset. I'm not gonna buy into it. I'm gonna stay calm. But, it's brilliant. No, no, it's, that's it's, a brilliant <laughs> nickname. No. The 58 minute man. Just, and by the way, I I like the Bears. I I, I have, I'm rooting oh, yeah. for him. I'm like sure. add more points. I am. Listen, I I did. I I bet on the Bears. I have the over. I, that's what I was rooting for. So I, but I am noticing a disturbing. Is it four straight weeks now? It was last week with the Lions. Uh, no, the week before that we uh, we got two weeks ago. We lost to the Cowboys and we got smoked. But so no, it was. It, it's not. Four, me, it's not let four me weeks. Let me pull ago. it up. Let me pull it up. Because we got to be three I, weeks ago. We lost a close one too. So let me pull it up, Eddie. I'm going to go right here. Yeah, I mean, everybody knows on the rundown we always get everything right statistically. We got to pull it up, make sure. All right. So they lost 27 to 24. This is yeah last week. They they lost the week before 31 30. The Dolphins. They lost. Game. They lost the week before that 35 32. These are three straight weeks. Yeah. Where the 58 minute man had the ball. With two minutes to go, and a field goal would have tied, won, or tied, and nothing. And this is coming up. They scored thirty points twice. Twenty. He's scoring all over the. Listen, Dave, here's wrong. a question. I hope I'm wrong. Think, Yet we got Mac Jones just finding ways to win. If if football games were fifty eight minutes long, do you think he'd be the fifty six minute man? That's the question. Is it, is it a time thing or is it, you know? I don't know. That's the mystery. Doing I'm not doing it, uh, Kevin. I'm not doing it, Kevin. I don't know. I hope I'm wrong. Um, the other, the Vikings get absolutely destroyed, exposed. I think most people did not think they were a legit team. Now, granted, it's a week-to-week league. They were due for that, but they got annihilated. Uh, anything else, NFL? Any other NFL thoughts? Yeah, I mean, it's been said time and time again, but there's no – more of a one-year head coach than Nathaniel Hackett. <laughs> he is just – he just bre- lives and breathes one-year head coach. There's no way he makes it past this year. Uh, speaking of head coaches, Sirianni going bananas. Uh, he's just a banana. He's a lunatic coach. The Eagles struggled, celebrated after the Indy win. But the NFL is a week-to-week league. But there's yeah. quarterback questions. You know, you start seeing, Kevin, you're done with Zach. Well, so what do you want him to do right now? Well, that's so I was wondering. It's it's weird because usually when, like, the quarterback situation is this much of a mess, the Jets are, like, far out of it and long gone, and you start looking at the draft. But obviously with the way they started, 
there's something there. Their defense, I mean, their defense is fucking awesome, and they do have some pieces. So, like, do you do you pull the trigger and make a like a move? I, I know some people were talking about Derek Carr. I know some people were talking about Jimmy G. It sucks that this is the one year that they don't have like a McCown on the on the on the roster who used to kind of step in and do like just what needs to be done. But unless like Flacco or fucking Mike White can step in, I don't think it'd See, be much better. See, I don't better. know that any quarterback though yesterday at least would have done much better. I will say last year the head coach he he looked like he uh like had dreads in the back of his winter hat. He has the longest like head this way. It was crazy his winter hat yesterday. <laughs> Is bananas. <laughs> um, college. Oh, before we do that, um, <coughs> did you know that over the holidays, property crimes like burglaries, package that spike naturally? It makes sense because people know you're away. That's why our friends at Simply Safe Home Security are offering 50% off their award winning security system that, so that more families can feel safe, secure this holiday season. Order your Simply Safe for half off today. Enjoy advanced security, greater peace of mind this holiday season. Here's why I love it Simply Safe was named the best home security system of 2022 by U.S. News and World Report. Third year in a row they won that. In an emergency, 24 7 professional monitoring agents use Fast Protect technology exclusively from Simply Safe to capture critical evidence, verify the threat is real, so you can get a priority police response. Simply Safe is a whole home security with advanced Sensors for every room, window, and door. HD security cameras, cameras for inside and out. Smarter ways to detect motion that alert you only when a threat is real. And even hazard sensors that detect fires, floods, other threats to your home. 24-7 professional monitoring service costs under $1 a day. Less than half the price of ADT's traditional professionally installed system. With the top-ranked Simply Safe app, stay in complete control of your system. Anytime, anywhere, arm or disarm, unlock for guests, access your cameras, or adjust system settings. Don't miss your chance. For massive savings on the families on the favorite on uh, favorite uh, on the favorite security system, get fifty percent off any new system at simplysafe.com/rundown today. This is their biggest discount of the year. That's simplysafe.com/rundown. There's no safe like Simply Safe. Um, college, interesting week. A lot of the heavy hitters who are, are priming up for the playoffs struggled. Michigan struggled. Ohio State struggled um tennessee lost uh georgia eh. and who's the fourth team that oh tcu obviously with one of the luckiest escapes in terms of how they ran that field goal drill which would have gone down probably as one of the great coaching blunders of all time the way they did that At the end of the game tcu they run a running play with like 25 seconds left that gained i don't know three yards no timeouts, so they have to do a car wash with the kicking unit. Why they didn't spike it or kick it before is crazy. The guy nailed it. Uh, Michigan, they hit a big field goal to win the game. Everyone's bitching about the refs in that game. Ohio State looked like trash. Um, TCU, their main account, just demolished Big T. Just, just demolished. What did they say? I didn't see well, that. Well, Big T was... Anybody who thinks TCU is good is full of shit. Let's stop pretending they're good. And then Tennessee lost by 100 to South Carolina. <laughs> so they, they quote tweeted all of it. Uh, but it's setting up this Saturday. Myself and uh, Big Ev will be live streaming Ohio State, Michigan. Michigan installed as a seven and a half point underdog. A lot of injuries that's in always, Michigan. That's always fireworks between you two. Michigan has a lot of injuries. We'll have to see who's playing like their entire oh, offense. Here we go. Start off. No, no, the that's no, well, no, no. They're starting yeah. running back hurt. Number one receiver hurt. Starting tight end hurt. Hope I think Corm's back, but they need Start their guys. The no, they need their guys. They need their guys. Um, so I'm excited. It's a great week of college football. World Cup. We talked about it a little bit. You guys got anything on the World Cup? Well, I, I want to say too. I think. What's your? Uh, do you have your playoff right now? For, uh, well, yeah, it's, well, I think both. Are it's clearly ready? Georgia. I think if Michigan, Ohio State plays a close game, they're okay. both in. And I think TCU, it, assuming they win, are in. There's your four. You, you got to want to, you got to want USC at this point, right? Though? Just I for mean, the theatrics of it? Yes. I think they're yes. going to lose this weekend to Notre Dame. I think that's besides Michigan, Ohio State. That's clearly the game. Yeah, USC it. would be good for the theatrics of it. Yes, and yes. they, you know what, they're a big enough school. So you know, if Michigan, 
the way that people do things, if Ohio State loses close to Michigan, they'll put them in because everyone sucks their dick. If Michigan loses, they'll be out and they'll put Ohio State in. And you got LSU lurking around. LSU, I mean, if LSU wins the SEC and beats Georgia, they're going. Yeah. I, I mean, that's my horse. That's the most interesting thing right now, for sure. So. Is USC and Lincoln Riley. So. Uh, the World Cup. I'm sick of everyone bitching about the World Cup. Like, no, it's in Qatar. What do you expect? Like, no shit. Bitching actually, like it's a shit show? Yeah, like the ticketing's not working. They think it's rigged. You can't drink. Yeah, it's Qatar. Yeah, no fucking kidding. You went to a goddamn third world country. Like, that's how it's going to go. Yeah. It, but I, yeah, so I, I have no patience. I am watching it. It's halftime right now, U.S. game. I think... I don't know what time U.S. plays England. I saw that video. It looked like it was getting a little heated at the office. Yeah, football is a sport. 1776. NBA is a business. Beat your ass. We beat your ass in your town. Ain't no one beating my ass. Ain't he knows deep down know what. they're going to lose in penalties no, not. in heartbreaking fashion. Because that's what happens every group. year. You ain't getting out the group. Uh, we had expressions. We had troops. And going to Big Cat and PMT, PFT, I will try to go to that game if it's not early. I don't know. If, do we know? Assuming U.S. wins this game. Do we, anybody know? No. Put a pin. 2 p.m. on Friday. All right. So then I'm going to try to get there for that. Assuming we win, I'm going to try to get there for that and, and support the country. It, uh, it, one of the crazier things in the world is that we just brush under the rug that fucking 10,000 people died to build a stadium and nobody cares. I didn't even know that. Well, that's because I didn't really know. Yeah, ten like anywhere between like six thousand and fifteen thousand people have been reported dead, and it's just like ah, whatever. How they I, die? Building the stadium. It's like a like like, a, like they had like them, migrant like, workers who would like aren't trained and they would fucking die and they just like get a new one. Crazy. I can't believe Donnie's there. I can't believe he went. Yeah, yeah. I mean that's like I mean they they're, they're flat out like. If you get caught drinking, if you get caught having sex, you get caught if you're gay, if you get caught with a woman, you go to jail. And the last place I want to go to was a fucking Qatari jail. Yeah, I, it's like I saw in, in Pat mentioned it, like there was a guy, he's like, I wasn't allowed in with this rainbow shirt. Yeah, no shit. No but like, why would kidding, you man. even, and, and it's awful, but why would you try that? Like what? And I, Well, I mean, I also, you know, I guess I tip my cap to like, if you're going to try to protest, you're in like the most dangerous place in the world on the front lines trying to like represent for your well, people. But like, it's just, it's just blatantly stupid at that point, though. Yeah. And I mean, I, I think six teams are supposed to wear like a United rainbow uh, armband. Yeah. None of them wore it because they told they all that they down. get yeah. Yeah, yellow cards and red cards. I, I watched a little bit. There's a documentary on like the corruption of FIFA. I started watching that and Sepp Blatter. And, but I will say there's corruption with everything. Like, of course, there's but, a lot but of like FIFA and, and like the Olympics are known as like the yeah, two. 100 percent. They're the fucking worst. And well, this, this is, is like the biggest example. Like this is a host country that really can't fucking do it. And yeah, know, that's that you threw out six thousand, ten thousand just dying working is insane. It's, it's nuts. But how and do we know that's true? Like, where are we getting those stats from? Like, that's so I, many people. I like what you like. You so meant to fucking man. That's why people. it almost seems. But it's everything that it's not about, too. Like, you're watching it. And, like, you know, there's no, like, no pans. The Brazilians going nuts in the crowd. And, like, there's, it's just, you know, there's the, the, the women going crazy. There's going to be none of that. There's going to yeah. be none of that. Not that we'll see. Um, this video. So, this story. Is there, her name Lara or Lara Pippen dating MJ's son? Larsa. Larsa. Right? Larsa Pippen? Yeah, Larsa. This can't happen. Hey, Laura, that's what you're doing? You with the boy Mike, son? You a cold motherfucker, ain't you? You cold as a motherfucker, I mean. <laughs> uh, it, it, it's, she is, she is a, she's a bad mamma jamma. She, she fucks. I don't blame her. She, like, control. But this like, is kind of what she does. Like, she, she fucks a lot of guys, and I feel like she almost did this, like, on purpose. So I do blame but, her. But, like, MJ... And Pippin, and Eddie, we, we got you on. As far as I know, have a, a, a good, solid relationship. Am I wrong about this? I, I don't know. I've always thought there was something there, solid. right? Yeah, no, I don't think it's a solid. I, th I think Pippin definitely has some animosity for sure. I, I well, think that then, we saw I mean, like with the documentary, I feel like when it was Pippin's time to shine and then they didn't really pay him and then MJ came back, 
I don't think it was like blood feud, but I think it was kind of like, fuck, it was oh, supposed to be my is, time. And this, now it's Michael's again. Yeah, this is a blood feud. It turns that when your kid is fucking your ex-wife, that is how something turns into a blood feud. And then there's the video, which is on there with the guy like taunting them. Be like, how are you going to do this? Like, I mean, it's just terrible. But she, I know she's, Scotty. Scotty didn't like that the last dance wasn't about the Bulls and that it was only more about Michael, which it's like, yeah. dude, what are you like? Hey, it was it was a lot about the Bulls. Like there was a lot about Jerry Cross. There was a lot about Rodman. So I don't know what you're talking about, but still, it's fucking Jordan. It, so it seems just like a, a lot of sour grapes in general, and I would imagine a lot of that is towards MJ too. But I know like Scotty Pippen Jr. has had to like put out statements about his mom and. She was also fucking future and Malik Beasley and fine. Like fine. MJ this is, Jr. This is also Yikes. like it was like she was seen with him months ago, I think. And she came out and was like, I'm absolutely not. That's crazy. I never would. And like six months later, she's like, yeah, I'm fucking him. Ugh. I mean, to me, that you might as well just be fight, fucking MJ. There's really not much difference. It's an MJ. So so do you think like it's almost worse? What do you, I mean, if you're Scotty Pippen, what do you do there? Dude, I think it's worse for Scott. Right? Scotty Pippen Jr. is on the Lakers G League team. I think he yeah. is a license to kill. Like, yeah. that's the worst he, for him. He was very mature about it. He had a tweet that was like, "What?" I think he's basically fed up with his mom. And he, he, But he just said something like, I can only control what I do, like not what others can do. I'm all good out over here. But that's got to be like, hey, mom, stop fucking all these guys, please. Especially MJ. Kick it in the net. Marcus's face, too, was like... Yeah, like, well, he, that's up he a hundred percent that, but that makes me think they don't, they have no respect for Scotty in that family, which None. is tough. But, but it's also been kind of what Scotty's beef has been, right, Eddie? It's always like right. people know I was great, but I don't get the respect I deserve. Well, there's You're, no fucking my his son is you know the ultimate. There sign. is no bigger lack of respect than my son fucking your ex-wife publicly. Right. Yeah, and it was almost like a laugh where it's like, yo, dude, I can't believe it either. This is crazy, right? Do you think MJ says anything? Yeah, he's laughing. They're laughing. That's what it is. They're having family dinners and laughing and and probably, (laughs) like, giving details. Like, how's life? It's it's terrible. Um, Giannis versus Philly and Montreal Harris. This was clips over the weekend. I like it. It's hard. For me to like anybody who's not on my team, on my, I, I have no problem with Giannis. I like Giannis. I thought, and, and I like Philly. Philly people being Philly, so I like both sides here. I I can't think of ever a superstar trying to get like free throw practice in anywhere. I don't care home away and like not being allowed to do it. Philly would be a place that you would not be allowed to do it. Um, I like both sides here. I think I, I, I respect, like, if that's my superstar, I love what he's trying to do. If I'm a Philly yeah. scumbag, I'm like, that's right. Get the fuck out. I got to go home. So I liked everybody here. The That, like, basically, like, ball boy trying to tell Giannis that he can't take free throws there. Like, who are you to tell Giannis that you get that? I'll tell Giannis when he gets to take his free throws. That's fucking insane. And then people on the other side trying to say that Giannis is in the wrong, like, Giannis has every right to be like, fuck you. A hundred percent. Like I'm the but, I'm the fucking I'm I'm an MVP. I'm a champion. I'm Giannis. Fuck you. But the Philly people be like, I want to go home. Like, you're done. Your time's done. I'm working overtime. Get off the court. This you're not you don't play for me. What do I give a fuck about you? This is an Embiid taking free throws. Like, go go find yeah, your own that's fucking a good point. gym. And and it is like a Giannis trying to like he wants people to see that I'm still working and taking my free throws and Giannis works hard. But it is the correct take to be on both sides because it you know union guys like that because I'm sure that guy's yeah. like he's in the yeah, union and he does not who Giannis is. does yeah. not give a fuck about anybody he's there he's watching that ladder and he's a great soldier that fucking guy he's right. a great soldier his boss is happy with him and he don't give a fuck who you are and he's not moving that ladder and Giannis and that's what's great you know everyone complains about people being buddy buddy Giannis doesn't give a fuck he's like hey I'm getting my free throws in. Move your fucking mm-hmm. ladder. So it's and then both you get sides. Montreal Harris, who uh, Mont- is it? Harris Montreal. Montreal Harold. Harold. Uh, nobody coming out stealing the ball. I liked it all. Um, Kyrie back. I'm just gonna talk about this real quick. His <laughs> comments, and this is why I've hated him from the beginning. He essentially, if I pulled it up, said, "I just want the ability 
to speak my mind and not be judged or have anybody have any opinion on what I say. Well, that's called a journal. That is called a journal. Yeah, then you go have to a, the fuck home and don't be a professional athlete, man. Or just write it in your journal or create yeah. a, a burner account with nobody on it and say whatever the fuck you want. But this guy, he's when I really started to turn on him was when he's like talking about going joining Durant when he was a Celtic at the All-Star game. And then people are like, are you going to join Durant? He's like, why are you asking me about it? Because you're talking about it, motherfucker. So if you're going to say stuff he on Twitter where you have, I don't know how many followers, a ton. Don't complain when people judge, especially when you're like, I fucking hate Jews. Just don't do it. And when people are like, do you hate Jews? And you won't answer, no, I don't. Then shut the fuck up. Also, Jalen Brown, Celtic, great player. This hate group basically showed up outside of uh, the Brooklyn game to support Kyrie hate group they've said some pretty wacky fucking things um basically like who the real jews are they don't like white people they've said a lot of shit whatever jalen he's like good to see the support for Kyrie. then he's like wait i thought that was a frat i didn't think that was who fine maybe delete the do something still get up there um yeah i don't know just if you're gonna talk talk don't complain when people say it that's all i got on him it's so delusional to think that you're you, no one you get to just speak your thoughts and then everyone just says okay thank you Kyrie like there's not going to be a reaction why are you on social media why are you giving these these fucking takes in the first place why are you you know you 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 say it on these platforms and and to the media and shit because they're going to write about it and because there's going to be a discourse you're not it, it, i mean that's he, that's he, the ultimate he wants a journal he he says he wants to or creed thoughts. No, but like, no, but he wants he wants the reaction. He just wants it to be the reaction he wants. Because otherwise, you, he does want the attention. He just wants people to agree with them. Yeah, he's an attention whore that complains exactly. about the attention when he doesn't yeah, like, like, like the he, attention. He, he has these quotes from back in the day that was like, "When I retire, you'll never see me again, man. I'm gonna go like live on a farm." Uh, uh, like by myself. And it's like, well, you don't ever fucking behave like that at all. You're the That's, most like, uh, you know, I want to be the center of the universe type guy. So he either shut the fuck the up Celtics or go do that. And throws powder on, on center court saying he's putting a hex on Boston. He's like, they're booing me because I'm black. We're not booing you because you're black. We're booing you. an asshole. Yes, like Kevin Garnett's <laughs> like, what do you expect? You, you antagonize everybody. He's it's like this, you. he's just like playing the, he's pretending to not get it, you know? It's like, you are the biggest well, fucking asshole in the world, and then you just pretend you're not? Fuck you, man. You're smarter than that. Is he? He's a flat earther. I don't no. know. He, well, that's what I mean, but that's what I'm saying. It's like, I, I guess, yeah, I have no idea how intelligent he is. I think he, he probably is, was like guy. very intelligent in his circle when he was growing up. And then as yeah. you get older, you realize there's people a lot smarter than you, right? And he's yeah. just not that fucking smart. When, and I in, think in he has to be. He, he's very Kanye-esque in the sense of he just has a bunch of yes men. And everyone, when he does say yes. something other than, like, you, you say anything other than basketball. And people are like, ooh, wow, yeah. Kyrie. And it's like, no, yes. shut the fuck up. Um, yes. This T-, T Swift Ticketmaster debacle, which I guess happened. I mean, I, I I'm just captivated by Kelly Keeks, who who did a <laughs> rant on this thing, and, Fox and News baby <laughs> ends up on Fox News. She has something about her. She's a very good ranter, but I mean, if God could f- like handpick i'm gonna i'm gonna drop like what a crazy Swifty looks like to go rant. <laughs> she's it. <laughs> Yeah, My hair's all over the place. Only cares about seeing Taylor Swift. Uh, it is crazy. I don't understand Ticketmaster being like, we weren't ready for the demand. I don't know what that means. And but yes, also, to- also ha- hasn't like big acts. I'm sure there have been bands who reunite and then there's like crazy, crazy demand and people don't get tickets. Like, why is this now leading to antitrust investigations like why is this one any different than when i don't know when paul mccartney went on sale or whatever the fuck you know yeah well i think a lot with the uh, like antitrust it's just politicians swoop in when they think there's a moment to grab like yeah public, yeah now's our like, chance favor. yeah but i mean they are they definitely are a monopoly i mean it's monopoly not the tickets sure. but it's they've the been venues. one that's what i mean they've 
been one forever. Yeah, like man. when we like did our – you, you, Taylor Swift has nowhere basically to do concerts if you don't work with Ticketmaster because Live Nation owns all the venues, and if you're going to use their venue, you need their tickets. That's the so issue. Like live, but like Live Nation owns like uh, fucking MetLife and Gillette, like all these stadiums? Yeah, I think so. I think Holy they like – that's I think be they print enormous money, right? I think they are basically every single major venue is a live nation venue. Yes. I think there's like two promoters and they're one of them. There's only a couple. AEG is the other one, I believe. Yeah. But uh-huh. yeah, and then I feel it was like, like, if like there you... was a person who who could do it. It would be Taylor. Uh, like, I guess you just you need a building, and there just aren't any other fucking buildings. And it's a lot right? of fucking like, work. Pearl Jam did yeah. something with it. Like Pearl Jam rallied yeah. against. Well, that's like, why I brought it up. Pearl Jam once tried, and I think they got. They lost the battle, so it's like I don't know what happened. In totally the new, but um, I, I think if there's one woman who could be like, we're doing it, you know, I don't know, in a fucking field over here, and we're not. Yeah, just going but it, it, she probably could, but it is a hell of a lot of work, like yeah. on her end to do what one, like you're just gonna do one, like you. Taylor yeah, Swift has to build. route her concert tour. She's got to route it, so she's going here, there, they're all Live Nation. So what's she gonna do? Um, all right, that's all the subject. There's a bunch of, like, post-show, starting with uh, Chase says he saw a UFO. And I saw, without question, a UFO. Do you see that? He's convinced no. he saw a UFO. Oh, yeah. It's He's not. convinced he saw a UFO. And I guess there were some other sightings. I do think I've seen a UFO before. I've said that. I'm also a team alien. But Chea was, uh, I don't know if he's around. We can get him in. There's a couple of Glenny, a couple people we could add chip in. Glenny uh, sang with Nickelback. I don't know how that happened. What a world, man. I, I heard that was happening, and I was convinced that it was going to be like at the very end, they bring him back out to sing like an extra chorus. He got like a 10 minute intro. Yeah. And, people and then they like started cheering. the song with him. Could you imagine being in the audience being like, I paid to go see Nickelback and I've got fucking Glenny Ball singing the hook to Rockstar? Are you kidding me? Who's yeah, got I, it the, who's got it the best at Barstool, Dave? Do you think Glenny's got Glenny's got the cake? I think Glenny he's has it got pretty some good. sort of deal. We, we we debated today whether he has a genie. And his first two wishes were like naked girls and be a rock star. Glenny has, only Glenny fans, has it pretty good. In this. Glenny has it pretty good. Uh, I think people, people would say Riggs, good. obviously, because he, he's got Riggs golf, has it. Riggs has it really good. But Riggs, Riggs also the, like built the, the golf. Correct. Correct. You know, and not that Glenny's not working hard now, but no. he's also not. Oh, you know. Glenny's is, Glenny ain't working hard. <laughs> Yeah, like he and but he knows it. Glenny would never like kick down no. your door demanding a raise. He would Glenny, just be like, I'm happy to be here. Glenny has to travel a lot. I think he likes that. But when he, he gets to his destination, it's generally just eating an ice cream sundae. Ice cream and hanging out with his Yes, yeah, not a nipples. whole ton of prep. Uh Clem had a video where he proved the ideal gas law. I already knew that, but it's nice to see impartial people come forward be like the Patriots got fucked so that was a good video um and then finally of course in my world the New York Times hit piece uh came out it was a year in the making I I I was a lot more nervous about that yeah a year I mean out of all of them maybe uh, maybe I'm wrong because you could you would obviously know better that felt like a fucking whimper. That like that looked like a little blip in the like nobody even. I don't yeah. even see people talking about it. No, usually well, there it wasn't like much. Raid. Eddie yeah, and I knew. Different. Eddie knew I was worried about this when we were doing Dave Porno show. This, what this I believe one, happened, I switched premises three to four times. It was meant to be a follow up to the Business Insider because that's how I really started. Like this, this woman who had Emily Steele, she won a Pulitzer. She's makes Julia Black look like a kindergarten reporter. And she, right. when I say she contacted everybody, everybody I'm associated with on social media, you want to talk, people, Kevin, if I showed you this person work for Barcelona, you'd be like, I don't remember that person. I had, you name it, they found, talked to. All, anybody who could have a grudge, anything. So I think it went from BI to racist to work. And then, there was just nothing, and they folded it into this gambling thing. I think it tells a lot that's right before Thanksgiving. Like, I don't think you're yeah. – if you think you have some major bombshell, right. you're probably not – because this is the worst week to, to 
publish anything. I, I mean, I feel like that was like waving the white flag before it even came out. Like, I, I think it's like we, I worked for this uh, for a year, so I've got to put something out. But she knows she doesn't have anything. Yeah, it was. Except, uh, oh, my God. That quote from your father. Is yeah. On the all timer. He, I, we knew that. We knew, we knew he was going to be one of the star witnesses. And the thing about it, which I always say, and I talked to my dad last night a little bit about because he's a liberal Democrat. And I'm like, yeah. Dad, can I, can, you, can I get you to say that uh, the New York Times has an agenda? He's like, well, does Fox News have an agenda? That's how he literally responded. I'm like, of course. Does the New York yeah. Times? Couldn't bring himself. I had to. I'm like, well, do you think it's weird that you spend a year doing an article and your star subject is openly like, I will sit down with you. I will yeah. answer anything you have. And they have no interest in it. None. I, I, I said that that screenshot screen recording of your text messages was probably the, the greatest like piece of evidence in a, in a debate I've ever seen. Like they drop just, the fucking hammer, drop the mic. No you, interest. You, you'll go to the ends of the earth to talk to everybody except the subject who is willingly saying I'll do it or and anybody, all you got to do is be oh, be transparent and they won't or anybody they like. All right, you quoted my dad, but you made no effort to talk to my dad. Um, Renee, obviously ex, who I was married five years, 10 years, know me. You're saying um, this degenerate, no attempt to talk to her. Like, no attempt to talk to anybody who may have something nice. It's only people who hate me, grudge, this, that. I mean, I talk, the guy from the Barstool Fund reached out. He's like, she dug so deep into everything. Try just nothing. Every if if she went down, I people won't see it. I think it's the greatest endorsement of my character that this yeah. is all they came up with because yeah. she yeah. went through everything, everything. Right. However, at the same time, they it, it was different. The, there was new information, I guess. It wasn't the same old thing. Um, well, it, it, it's essentially like this was more speaking to legislators and stuff it was 100 this wasn't trying to get the common fan and the common person and be like these people bad this was like see this guy yes. this is who you're letting through the ropes correct that's who this was for they were like this is who you're give green lighting this license for that's right and we'll and we'll see if it it creates issues with that um but i guess my point would be that i don't think that's how it started so no, and, you're, you're yeah. right because you said that forty felt, women. Yeah, you're right. right. And, yeah, and, that felt like uh like all over the map. Like, well, there's nothing here. You know what would have been great, and and they'll never do it because they're biased and they want. They just are trying to confirm their bias. But if someone ever wrote an article that was like, I set out to take this dude down because I heard about these bullshit publications and these bullshit reporters trying to, and then I did the research, and guys, you know what I found out? Like. Not a bad dude. So, so, like just so be that because that that article would be you yeah. Know, so Renette, that is that how this started. When I found out, I talked to her on the phone. I got her number and I said, "Like, what are you doing? I'm I'm getting all these people reaching out." She's like, "Well, mm -hmm. I read the business letter. I wanted to see what it's about." I go, "I'll sit down. I'll present my evidence. I think if you look at it." With unbiased, you're gonna. You the article is actually about Business Insider, not about me. You're gonna look at it, be like, right. holy cow! She had no interest yeah. in it. She never had interest. Right. And Eddie, to your point about it ending up being about the regulators, I agree. But and this is where I guess naive. I don't believe it anymore. The New York Times is a liberal like agenda, right. like the Foxes, right? right? New York Times left. If you want to present this case about me, and you spent a year, how? If you're trying to be an unbiased reporter you to not include one positive thing right. or anything it's all negative like it's just a right. one-sided well here if you're presenting the picture of who i am let people see the good the bad what is not and they don't do that because they have no interest in that but Unless overall that, that needs to be like an opinion piece from emily Steele. dave right. portnoy is a shitty guy not like i am a journalist and here are her, here are the facts correct yeah there's a lot of you know yeah exactly what so. you said but that but more importantly uh, it just, and again, maybe it's just the, who I follow and what my social media looks like. But I didn't. I mean, I didn't. No, see that was that was a zero on the Richter scale. And zero, again, man. Like, I, I was and, and big relief. I guess that's a good thing. Yeah, no, great yeah, thing. Yeah. I was very near because again, I have no idea. Like, I know what I've done and I what I haven't done, and people get bored. I know the sh first shit didn't happen, so it's right. like. If they you get the right person talking, anything. Yeah. So I, I had no idea. 
I do think the one thing the New York Times, they maybe, while they have the same agenda, if they can't concrete prove something, they may not run with it. I don't know. But right. yeah, overall. What about, what about Davy bankrupts? I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah I haven't hidden that. So this is also, I don't want to throw my dad under the bus. Oh, no. Here we go. So I think I was 22. I had like 30 grand credit card debt. And my dad, and I don't know if I do this now. He's an attorney. He's like, I, you can get rid of this. It's like, all right. I had nothing to my name. He's like, there's a law in Massachusetts. You do it. I'm like, what are the repercussions? He's like, it'll be on your record for 11 years. So that's why it's like, it's a public record. Anybody can fucking find it. So I did yeah. it. It was like a quick way to, to just wipe it out. Get out of it. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's an easy way out. I wouldn't recommend it. I certainly wouldn't say I'm proud of it, but she's making it sound like it, it, like a gambling, like I, 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 because yeah. of gambling, I, I was legit bankrupt and destitute. I mean, I mean, look at if, the... if that didn't happen, I would have paid it and gone yeah. on my way. She also, also has... though, it's like, look at where you're at now. If you're trying to prove that he's some sort of degenerate, destitute gambler, they, I don't think he'd have a hundred million dollars. They, the, you know, they the have in there company. that I had four tax liens against me because I'm a degenerate and can't pay. The grand total was 11,000. I didn't, that's news to me. I had that. My tax people, I don't open my mail. Like, wh yeah, like right, what are we right, talking right. about that? I have a yeah, I'll pay grand. that in cash right now. And they were I, pulling, could, you know. they were pulling sell your house tweets from like 16. It's been shown they won't find that shit since the pen deal happened. Right. That that's, was that's like, a fact. yeah, like, that, that's something that also, if they did any more interviews, anybody here would be like, if you use any of the terms or 100%. make any of the jokes, Dave is the first one to be like, you're fucking fired if you do yeah, it again. So, you're fucked. And, you can't and do that. Even, even the old stuff, uh, when we weren't like under the rules of, of regulations and shit, was always like very it's like they, it's like comical. they're like, like you said you you said you retired and then you gambled the next day. Yeah, if I lose a yeah, heartbreaking no game. Yeah. Right. Yeah. The, I will say, seriously, on the gambling issue. Having it being legalized and like people like me, Dan, who actually gamble, it's far safer than the other way. Far safe. When you bet illegally with bookie and there's you don't have to put the money down. You can run up all sorts of fucking tabs. This is a hundred times safer. But uh I again use a credit card. Yeah, it's way different. So that uh was like that the stakeout girl, Dave? The stakeout, so there are two girls involved in this. Women. Emily Steele and this woman named Liz Day. I think I chased Liz Day right out of this article. She was never heard from again after the stakeout when Paul and I, Gaz, I, we went up her husband's in the video. And again, this is why I say this is disingenuous. You can use morals ethics. What Emily Steele and Liz Day, Liz Day was telling first, hey, we're doing a story on Miami nightlife. Then it was, we're, uh, they changed it to, we're doing how do celebrities interact with young girls online and they would call and they'd mention like a bunch of names and then i'd be like fourth and then they dig into me what this has to do with gambling they were just looking wait, like wait, i don't wait, know wait. this article was originally supposed to be about miami nightlife yeah that's what they told girls who they interviewed yes that's fucking garbage man that's trash it's crazy they they would Isn't change that, the that's subject like gotta be some fucking journalistic I, oath or some shit. No, that you don't just blatantly lie to the Emily Steele was calling girls. She was somehow it's the New York times obtaining their cell phone numbers. And we have no idea how, like she would just call them out of the blue to try to catch them like off guard. That's why so many girls were reaching out. And by the way, I, to clarify it, I didn't know half the girls. She just went down my friend list on Instagram and I was getting people like it was surreal. So, yeah, they were ch ch the, the video I have with me and Paul ambushing this reporter. We don't mention gambling once. It was right. about sex tape, video right. report. It was, it was totally different. And I just don't think ball. they had anything. Mm -hmm. Are you going to release that or no? No, I don't think so. No. No, because you know what? I, 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 interesting, like, as long as, you know, you don't fuck up anything in the future, knock on wood. Is there anything left? Like. They've, we've overturned every stone. We know we know the jokes, size six and all this shit. Like, 
Can, would anybody even set out to do another hit piece? I think this one, particularly, people are going to go, it was the New York Times and a year-long investigation of yeah. Dave Portnoy, and that probably got a fraction of the clicks that it, it once used to get. It's not even worth my effort anymore. I, I think people, unless you're listening to this right now, and again, Eddie probably knows more than anybody, do not, will not appreciate how long, how hard, how deep Emily Steele dug into my life. Everybody, everywhere. And if you knew that, you're like, whoa, she can't, she, nothing. Like she, she literally, she just nothing. I Bro, think actually, it would it, end it. It's a good, uh, I'm in, I'm impressed that like there's nothing. I mean, everybody's got something when people dig into your life. The fact that this is all they've got, it's like it's how yeah. it works though. And then you're gonna get a DM and someone's gonna hit you up, Dave. And then it's like, oh, this publication. And then yeah, yeah. I mean, I thought I was through it last time, but uh, who knows? Yeah. I'll never say but never. Like that was a that was a bullshit. You know, Business Insider and that girl's a nobody. I think that other journalists who maybe one day were, were thinking, like, maybe I'll do that with Dave and Barstool one day, would look at the New York Times having, like, it, nothing. Any, yes, if anybody. And having to drop so, it so on Thanksgiving this, this, this week. And well, not just woman, Thanksgiving week, like, and like during the during the NFL, 1 p.m. kickoff games. Yeah. Like, that was, yeah. The, um, this woman brought down Bill O'Reilly. She's the one who essentially brought down Fox News. She won a Pulitzer. Oh, yeah, so, like, she knows... She, that's a woman who's like, oh, I got the goods. Like, I got Correct. this guy. Or whether Correct. I don't. And she it knows sucks she that, have it. You know, there's nobody willing to be like, hey, I took down Bill O'Reilly. I know what it looks like when there's a guy abusing his power and all that. And this guy is not. But they, they never will. They'll never nope. do that. Nope. That'll never happen. That'll never Crazy. happen. Uh, all right. That's, uh, that's all we got. That's the show. See you. Later. 